What? What happened? Oh, the keys are what? What did they do? What? I don't. Oh. F. That's a big F. Which one of the cats do you think did it? I think the girl, honestly, because she's been the one chasing grasshoppers and catching them. But the boy did catch the lizard yesterday, too. I'm gonna say the boy. I think he's just been super aggressive lately, and he just got in that fight with the other cat, you know? <laughs> the cameras. Yeah, let's go look. We have cameras. Oh, I'm excited! Okay, the bird's not here, but it appears like a minute later. So in a few seconds, we should know who the perpetrator is. Today's video is brought to you by Keeps, the revolutionary way to treat men's hair loss. Are you going bald? If you're not yet, you probably will. Two out of three dudes start seeing their hair jump shit by the time they're 35. I'm only 31 and I'm already seeing my hair thin out. Like my wife tells me, premature is my middle name. The best way to treat hair loss is to act quickly during the early stages before it's too late. Fortunately, Keeps offers scientifically proven treatments to help you out. They carry generic versions of the only two FDA approved hair loss treatments on the market at an affordable price so your wallet can stay thick like your old mop. Now with everything going on in the world right now, it's important to note that Keeps delivers all products right to your doorstep every three months. It's also worth noting that good things take time. Keeps treatments can take up to six months or more before you start seeing results. So act fast and start saving that hair. Don't let it go bare or you'll look like a pear. If you're ready to take action against hair loss, go to keeps.com slash bitwit or follow the link in the description below where you'll get 50% off your first order. That's K-E-E-P-S dot com slash bitwit. Okay, the bird's not here, but it appears like a minute later. So in a few seconds, we should know who the perpetrator is. If it was the boy or if the bird flew into the window. <gasps> oh, it flew into the window. Damn. Oh, I can't watch it. Oh, it's fluttering. He's trying to, oh shit. Not a great way to go. Wouldn't be my first pick. On the bright side, our cats have been cleared of murder. You're digging at a grave? Yeah. Right here? Well, cause you can't really put it anywhere else in the yard, so. You can't put it anywhere else in the yard? Where else do you want me to put it? Fine, just just do it here. Here's fine, right right next to where the humans walk. What's the leaves for? I felt bad just throwing dirt on it, so I'm gonna put leaves in it first. It's already dead. So. We've been feeling a little cooped up lately, so we thought it'd be nice to go out to eat for a change, which is why we're here at the Whole Foods parking structure. We couldn't really think of a better place to go. Uh, we have Del Taco, there's a burrito. I have a burrito. We have hot sauce. We have hot sauce too. This is about as fine dining of an experience you can get right now. And look at this view. Just look at that breathtaking landscape. <sighs> Brings it here to my eye. Is Del Taco your favorite fast food restaurant? Yes. Me too. I'm full. This is great. We should do this all the time. Uh, but you actually have to go to the store now, right? Yeah. To get an item. Stay safe out there. You have your gun? What? And your samurai sword? Stop it. Don't forget the grenades. I love you. It's wild out there. Yay, wifey sauce is back and she's alive. Oh, you got chocolate. I did. Okay, I'm not I'm not complaining. I'll admit that lunch was pretty sad. Well, the Del Taco was delicious, but the environment was uh It was pretty sad. It was lacking. So now we're headed to Santa Monica Beach, but we're gonna stay in our car the whole time. We're not gonna get out for the safety of everyone else and ourselves. So we're gonna try to find a parking spot that's facing the beach. Hopefully it won't be too crowded. This is a completely original idea that, that no one else has. Are we there yet? I have to pee. There's no bathroom pile where we're going. You should have gone at the market. I didn't need to go at the market. Well, sorry. Like I do. I'm 31 and a half! I hate you! Now are you 15? Are you a teenager? You're a teenager. Got him. We can't even pull over. Oh my goodness. Chain link fence around the whole beach? The beach has been canceled! Our planes have been canceled. I thought maybe we could at least like park. Where are we gonna get a good view? No, we'll keep driving and we'll find something. And the ocean's making me want to pee. <laughs> There's gotta be somewhere with a better view right now. Idea, idea. What, what about Malibu? Where <laughs> Malibu is a private beach, so it's probably not closed. Maybe we can even find a parking spot with a view. Oh, what? It's gonna take another 23 minutes to get there? The second we get to Malibu, I'm gonna pee in that water. Sorry, rich people. This quarantine's really made it difficult to chillax. You know what I mean? And what's up with that word? Chillax. It's like a combination of chill and relax, which are essentially the same, same thing. thing. That's like saying, hey, why don't we go exercise? Let's work out and exercise. I'm gonna be ready to greet in a few hours. You're gonna be ready to what? To 
greet to grub and eat. At least we get to take a druze today. Drive and cruise? Yep. I really need to take a slap right now. Slap? A sleep and nap? Mm -hmm. I'm more of a day slapper myself. When's the last time you consulmized? What? Consulmized. Console and compromise. Which are essentially the same thing. Oh, grocery store. I see a grocery store over there. Pull in. I hope you're ready for me, Ralphs. I'm coming in hot. Okay, I'll be back. Is that a house? It sure is. Is a Bond villain living there? That house looks like a prison. I see a hill up ahead. Maybe we can park there. Oh, look, there's people right here. Let's just park right here. Ooh, yeah, this could work. If it wasn't for that red fence, it'd be like 100%. Yeah. Or actually, there might be a better parking spot up there, honey, because we're kind of at the bottom of the hill here. But if we leave, I don't want to risk losing this spot if there's nothing better. Why don't you go up and then look and see if there's a better parking spot? There's a spot right there. Perfect. No orange fence. Come on, honey. At a girl. Just back it in easy. Look how pretty the view is. It is beautiful. It's so nice. So nice. All right, let's go home. JK! I said I wouldn't leave the car and I've already broken that rule, so I should yeah. get back in. Okay, so while we're chillaxing here, we thought it'd be kind of cool to watch some Netflix or something. So I've arranged another awkward and cumbersome solution for that. This is actually the same 1080p portable monitor that I used for the LAN party on a plane video. It's by one of those random Chinese brands, but it's actually a pretty decent panel for the price. I'm also using a similar mounting mechanism with a little cheese plate and a suction cup mount that uh, we're gonna use to mount this guy to the windshield. In the LAN party video, I actually had an Intel Nook attached to this as well. It was actually sandwiched in between the panel and the cheese plate, but you can see there's obviously no nook here. Instead, to watch media, we're gonna be using a Google Chromecast, which I've actually taped to the back so it doesn't get in the way. You can see we've got a full-size HDMI port on the display, so uh, the Chromecast is plugged into that, and then we're also gonna be powering that with USB. There's also a 3.5 millimeter audio jack that's gonna be plugged into the monitor, and that's gonna be going to our Bluetooth speaker, since this doesn't really have Bluetooth set up. And we're just gonna be piping it in straight to this Bose. This Bose, I actually don't know what the model name is, but it kind of works out because it's sort of cup-shaped. It's cylindrical, so it kind of just fits right there in the uh, in the cup holder. And it's more or less a 360 degree speaker, so it doesn't really matter which way it's facing, but let's get this all set up and see how it works. All right, first step is we're gonna mount the monitor to the windshield. Gonna have to close this guy first though, so it doesn't get in the way. Disengage the suction cup, uh, I'm gonna say right about here. Does it look like it's centered and stuff, facing the right way? Yeah, Evenly looks between pretty us. good, looks pretty good. Undo this wad of cables here. <laughs> Go ahead and plug in audio. The cool thing about this monitor is that you can power it with uh, USB-C. So we've got a USB-C cable here. It actually supports Thunderbolt as well, but we're not gonna be using that. Plug in our speaker. And to power the monitor in Chromecast, we have our Easy ACC 20,000 milliamp battery. Turn it on. Monitor. Oh. Monitor's booting. All right, we got it working. There it is. Kind of hard for you guys to see because it's so incredibly backlit. We can actually see it okay. I do wish it was a little better. Although Wifey Sauce just found a towel in my car. Okay, the towel placement is complete. We got it pretty much covering the entire windshield. Had to put a backpack on top just to hold it down because it is pretty windy right now. We are at the beach after all, but let's see how it looks inside. Ugh. It's like having a little theater inside Whoa, the this is actually pretty sweet. That works beautifully. And it makes it a lot cooler in here. Great job, honey. What you making, sweet thing? Artichokes. Ooh, Wifey Whoa. Sauce makes the best roasted artichokes in the world. Love don't you, honey? It. Don't you? They are pretty good. They are pretty darn good. Are you gonna, they're burning, you're gonna burn oh, the artichokes. Oh, I'm supposed to take them out, huh? Give me a glove, glove me up. You need both hands to take it out. I build computers one-handed. I can take some roasted it's artichokes really out. Heavy. Well, you're really heavy. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's what you oh. want. Oh. Well, I'm done with all of my to-do list today, and I feel very accomplished, very proud of myself. But Wifey Sauce still has one more thing to do on her list, which is create her first content-based video, because I don't know if you guys know this, some of you probably already do, but Wifey Sauce has her own YouTube channel now that she made last week. Yeah, big stuff. Big stuff. What's it about, honey? It is about vegan cooking, vegan lifestyle, anything related to veganism. High five. YouTube channels rock. So you guys can follow her if you'd like. I'll put a link in the description in case you're interested. But you're supposed to make your first real video today because so far you've only uploaded one video and that was more of an introduction to the channel. Let's do it. Join us now as we take you behind the scenes to the production of Wifey Sauce's first video. <laughs> we got the lights. We got the camera. Where's the action? Where'd you go, honey? Oh. 
Hey, there she is, right on time. Have you seen my purse? I, mean my purse. I have seen your purse. I saw it right over there last time I checked. Would you? Yeah. Why do you need your purse? Where are you going? Where are you going? Are you leaving me? Finally walking out on me and the cats? Huh? Is that it? I'd never leave you. Can I get that in writing? You did. I married you. Oh yeah, that's right. <laughs> hey, honey, this feels backwards. But, but I like it. I actually really enjoy being behind the camera for once. It's so much less stressful. Like I don't have to worry about anything. I don't have to get super anxious about what people are gonna think of me, how terrible the comments are gonna be. You're gonna do great. You're gonna crush it. Take it away. Thanks, babe. You beautiful creature. All right, guys, we are going to make vegan popcorn from scratch today. I've come up with my own method and way to do things and I'm really excited to show you guys like a foolproof, a full, a full, <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. A foolproof met a full <laughs> Oh my god. A foolproof met method. I just can't say today. <laughs> I have to make 